when i came to akash when i joined akash i had some expectations from the institute but i can definitely say that they gave me way more than that hi friends i am madhav manu from calicut kerala currently studying in class 12 at akash bijus i wrote anthe in class 8 and got an ar of 64 and got 100% scholarship from akash i joined the two year foundation course of akash and then like the support i got from the team and i opted akash bijus for my two years of engineering course from when i was around in class 6 i found the subject mathematics to be very interesting it always fascinated me the other things that fascinated me and which make me think and ponder was how machines work and what is the technology behind computers so when i was around in class 8 class 9 it says i decided to pursue je and choose engineering as my career talking about preparation strategy i would say it is subject specific and sometimes topic specific let's take mathematics for the subject mathematics the strategy is obviously problem solving like the i was confident with the topics and the basics i was clear with it so it was more about problem solving you solve as much problems as you can of all all levels and all different models talking about physics in physics first you have to get the basics clear like very clear and the in depth topics you can learn via problem solving in chemistry physical goes almost as same as physics or maths but in organic chemistry and organic chemistry you have to solve problems but more than that you have to get very clear you should read more theory than problem solving and also keep in mind about chapters like mathematical reasoning which has weightage in mains but low weightage in advanced so study it focusing for mains and don't bother about it much for advanced the biggest challenge i faced during my journey was in organic chemistry and organic chemistry there have been a few exams where i performed really well in physics and mathematics but got a got a comparatively low rank because of my poor score in chemistry there have been instances when i felt like giving up or like thought that i can't do this this is beyond me but then during those time my father made sure that i never actually gave up and kept me motivated with the help of my akash teachers now i overcome the fear of a specific subject and with the help of the various programs like the revision program provided by akash now i have reached a state where it is not a challenge for me anymore talking about the role of teachers in my success i would say the biggest role was played by my foundation teachers they nurtured the learner inside me rather than making it just like a boring tuition class for school board exams they made it more like a foundation class which was like a basics for my engineering courses engineering course in 11th and 12th they inculcated the interest towards olympiad inside me during the 10th board exam i got 98.6 percentage and for in admission for 11 i got selection for akash as well as from other institutes but my obvious choice was akash due to the bonding created between me and my teachers after reaching 11th the atmosphere i got from akash was extraordinary like i was afraid about physics and chemistry majorly because till 10th the physics and chemistry that you have and the 11th and 12th is extremely different like 11th and 12th the topics of physics and chemistry are washed so i was really afraid of facing it but the te- the teachers i got here they made it look so easy that it was just like how how it was till 10th it just continued to be the same and they made sure that the interest towards academics inside me was still burning i would also like to add that i owe my success to all the people around me who helped me and supported me throughout my journey especially my teachers my parents my sisters my family and god almighty who gave me the opportunities that i got the preparation strategy from your syllabus completion is entirely different till the syllabus gets over it's about learning new new concepts and from then on it's about checking how much you learned you write as much exams as you can and one of the key factor is error analysis you check on what kind of mistakes you make and you make sure that by the end your the number of silly mistakes you make has reduced to zero and you also make you try to focus on those topics which you are weak on and make sure you are strong strong on them also before the actual final exam the most important factor to stay focused and keep your calm during the entire journey is to be disciplined and for me to be disciplined is synonymous with having a good time management once my father told me the person who manages his time the most efficiently succeeds in life and i i would really agree to that also talking about distractions distractions can be of many kind one key distraction which i noticed was academic distraction which is like you will be studying chemistry and suddenly a good math question pops up and you suddenly deviates from what you were studying and go to math and what you were studying is remain uh, remains unfinished when you are studying something focus on it finish it and then later go and solve any question which you thought of in between according to me a stress free preparation is a utopian idea there will be times when you are stressed but how you overcome the stress changes from person to person for me it was sports i used to play volleyball when i when i am a bit stressed and that used to help me keep my calm during my studies and then there have been times when i get a bit overloaded with academics and during those times 
I preferred puzzle solving like Sudoku which used to which used to like bring me back to the mood of studies and kept me going. The Akash study materials and modules are exceptional. I like the way they have segregated the questions into different sections according to their hardness and those cover almost all different models of question that have come up in mains as well as in advanced. But along with Akash modules, I would also recommend reading JD Lee, MS Johan and Physics Galaxy. I found these book the content in these books really amazing. But before, do, before spending your time in these books, make sure that you have completed all the materials provided by Akash like the target which explains the content and then success achiever for JE mains and success magnet for JE advance. One more thing which I found really nice about Akash was that they selected all the good questions from different various reference books and put it together as practice assignments and gave it to us. The final test series and the archive test series which comprises of previous JE mains questions helped me during my revision period. These exams helped in increasing my speed as well as accuracy. During these exams, I created my own strategy for attending questions in the actual JE main exam. Like which subject to answer first and how to tackle hard questions. Do I do it in the first round or do I keep it for later and then come and attempt it. It basically created a good exam temperament in me. My experience with Akash has been excellent. If you ask me to rate it out of 10, I would give it a solid 9.99. Like when I came to Akash, when I joined Akash, I had some expectations from the institute. But I can definitely say that they gave me way more than that. During the preparation phase, my biggest advice to you would be manage your time well. Time is something which you get in very limited quantity. So wasting it is a crime. Now during the exam phase, initially focus more on your accuracy rather than speed. But as you get closer to the actual exam, focus more on speed rather than accuracy. Because by then your accuracy would have increased a lot. And also devise your own strategy for attending the exams. And make sure during an exam, one subject doesn't affect the other. Also, one question shouldn't affect the another question. You might, you might have missed out one question, but make sure it doesn't bother you while solving the other questions. Always keep in mind, health is wealth. And be grateful to all the people who have made sacrifices for you. And I wish all of you guys all the best for your coming exams. And thank you.